Okay, so the neighbors gave us this uh, framework box thing, and it was, was uh, part of a sandbox that they had built. Uh, it's kind of upside down, but you know, you throw it on the ground, fill it with sand. <coughs> and anyway, she moved out and she gave it to us. Uh, she said, you know, come on over and get it. Because uh, she'd seen some of my other gardening attempts and thought this would make a good raised uh, raised plant bed, which uh, it will. So that's cool. Um, the yard is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> so I decided I would use this area next to the overgrown rose garden um, and this stuff over there. So I'm going to put it right down here in the center of things. And I don't know why I'm worrying about it being square, but uh, I've actually used a yardstick to measure and try and get it square. Um, I went and got some of these uh, landscaping tenders, timbers. They were only two bucks each, so uh, you know, I could have gotten them more. And you might not be able to tell it, but the yard slopes, you know, higher here lower down there and me being a persnickety picky jerk uh, I decided I'm I want it to be level so I'm gonna kind of dig down a little bit here and sort of build a box that this thing will sit on top of and that'll give me a couple extra inches anyway so this is what is going to be a raised bed uh, garden and I'm going to take some more of those uh, plastic pipes and do the pipe gardening thing and what I'm going to do is from each corner going up I'm going to build like a cube out of uh, the plastic pipes which will be filled with dirt and uh, the proper sized holes drilled out so this whole thing is going to look like a big cube and uh, so I can plant stuff that needs to be planted in the ground, in the ground, in the actual raised garden. And then the viney stuff, like my gourds and some of the peppers and tomatoes, uh, will pl be planted in the uh, pipes. roughly four by four you got the Ryobi reciprocal saw the 18 volt one and you can see that after two cuts this battery was already starting to uh, to fade so. so seen me cut the two uh, inside end pieces and there's my supervisor going in to uh, supervise the work and lay down on the job just like a city employee so anyway um, measure twice cut once so those pieces go on the inside let's see if I can get the camera over there they go on the inside like this and the other ones are going to be eight inches longer, uh, four inches longer on a side. You can see my mark. So those will be on the outside and in theory this will form a square. And so will the cat. That's Oswald.
Yo. Alright, so I got the four basic pieces for the uh, underlayment, and uh, I don't know what I was thinking, because I want to go too high on these, so I might have to go get some more, except uh, I am going to dig down further on one side, then on the tether, so uh, let's see how that works out, and Oswald of course is moved his position. Nice focus there. Okay, let's see if the settings... Okay, I had this set for booby trap, but now the autofocus and uh, we can bring Kitty into uh, better... Uh, you can't really see it, but hiding back there is part of the cat cemetery. There's uh, the lion. That's a uh, that's where General Patton is buried. General Patton was one of our other cats. So anyway, I've got the basic uh, foundation. And i got four of those that I'll find something to do with. And a uh, and cat. And i got this roughly staked out because uh, I think when you're building things you have to drive stakes into the ground. I don't know why, but you do. So uh, let me get on this. Okay, got the uh, basic foundation going, and I miscalculated. I want to get a couple of more beams and bring that up one more level. Uh, and then set the, uh, the box down on top of it. But uh, that's the box that's going to go on top of that. But let me give you, let's move this magically and see if I can use the power of my mind to move that. And there it is, on top of that foundation. But I'm going to do another row, um, just to get it up in the air a little bit and to give me a couple of more inches of depth for planting things. And uh, also because just digging that little bit realize this soil is pretty packed and pretty hard and I don't know how much I want to fuck with it so I think after I get a second row of these timbers then uh, you know that, that might give me just about a foot of uh, a foot of depth which for a lot of the stuff I plant is going to be fine um, now as far as all the shit in the middle of it I'm tempted to uh, leave it there and uh, just dump soil over it and let that kind of naturally compost. But uh, i got to do some research on that. As you can see, we're kind of running out of daylight here. Um, and I think I am going to plant a couple of more of those buckets up in the tree hanging from there just because I think it's neat. But that's another part of this, is aside from being a cube with the pipes making each corner an angle, um, I think I'm also going to have some places to hang more buckets. I'm not sure exactly why, but whatever. Um, getting started with this whole project pretty late in the year, uh, so I really don't know how it's going to work out. Um, but next year, 
I will be light years ahead. See, with this thing, I think I can also throw a bunch of plastic over it and have kind of like a greenhouse um, so I can get stuff started really early or extend this growing season much later or something like that. Anyway, this is uh, Chrome Tuna, Chrome the Constructor, and uh, that's part one, and hopefully there will only be two parts, part one and part two. But uh, if not, that is uh, part one is done.